So I'm getting ready to bring in my medication for my patients in this room. So I'll start off with the first patient. I'm going to look at their medication on the MAR on the workstation just to confirm. So I have my medication here. Now I can move over, now that I've verified it, to the rover and I can begin to scan the medication for my first patient. So I'm scanning the pills. Okay, so I'm going to take the pills that I've scanned and put them into the med cup. And I can begin the process again for my second patient. So I've got my next patient up on my, on my rover. I'll bring up their medication on the chart once more. Confirm that I have the right pills. And I can start to scan the medication for the next patient. So now that I have the pills prepared, I can don my PPE, perform hand hygiene, and I start by donning my gown. The ties up at the top. Do the ties around the back. on the visor. And then put on my gloves, making sure that I keep the sleeve over my palm, holding it down with my fingers to keep it tucked under the gloves. And now I'm ready to do my medication administration. So now that I have all my medications ready and I've printed off patient specific labels to put on the cups, I'm going to grab everything else that I need for uh, entering into the room so as to conserve PPE. I know my patient needs a glucose scan so I'm going to get everything I need for that. I have my rover, and then I know that the doctors have ordered self-proning for one of my patients, so I'm going to make sure I have the instruction sheet for that. I'll start off by dropping off the stuff for patient number two, dropping off the instructions, their medication, making sure it's the right one. And I'll drop off the stuff for the glucose scan as well. Hi, Mrs. Smith. My name's Leah, and I'm going to be your nurse today. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm doing well. And yourself? Not too bad. I have some medication here for you. Would you mind if I checked your armband quickly? No, not at all. 
Can you tell me your name? Uh, Mrs. Jane Smith. Perfect. And what's your date of birth? January 5th, 1945. Excellent. So the medications I have here are Tylenol for pain. I have ibuprofen also for pain. And I have Zantac for antiacid. Oh, excellent. The Zantac will help my uh, stomach burn right now. Amazing. So I'm going to scan your bracelet quickly. Okay. And I'll pass you the meds. And you can go ahead and take those. Thank you. They're all, I've taken them now. Awesome. So now I can go ahead and val I can go ahead and accept my medication administration on my rover. Do you mind if I do your vital signs? Oh no, that sounds great, a great idea. All right, I'll put the sat probe on your finger there. Perfect. I'll scan your bracelet. So I noticed your sats are 94%. I'm gonna try and turn your oxygen from four liters down to three liters. Oh, and we're gonna leave the we're gonna leave the probe on to make sure that you stay above 92%, okay? So I'll check back on that. Sounds good. And how is your pain doing? Oh, it's good, it's zero. Okay, good. And do you have to use the bathroom at all? No, not at all. Okay, is there anything I can move closer to you? Uh, if there's a cup of water, that would be great if you could just put it beside, beside me there. Absolutely. So I've got that right there. And I just want to remind you, your call bell is over here on your right-hand side. Perfect. Thank you. I'm going to be with your neighbor, so if you need anything, I'll be coming by again, okay? Okay, thank you. So now I'm going to go change my PPE and clean my rover between patients. Megan, could I grab a new gown and a Clorox wipe, please? Sure. And now best practice is to change your gloves and gown in between each patient. So I'm taking off my gloves. Performing hand hygiene. And then I can take off my gown. Doing the bottom laces first, and then the top, holding onto the straps and pulling it away from me, and turning it inside out. In order to conserve PPE, we can leave the visor and the mask, and perform hand hygiene. An additional practice in order to conserve PPE is to just change the gloves. Megan, could I get a Clorox wipe? So I'll clean my rover. Take off my gloves. Perform hand hygiene. Hey, Megan, can I grab a small pair of gloves? Sure. There you go. Thank you. And 
they'll don my new pair of gloves. Now I'm going to go and see my second patient. Good morning, Mrs. Doe. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. My name's Leah, and I'm going to be your nurse today. Oh, hi, Leah. I brought in some medication for you. Would you mind if I just checked your bracelet quickly? Okay, sure. And could you tell me your name? This is Doe. And can you tell me your date of birth? September 10th, 1942. Perfect. So I've got here. I have some medication for pain here. I have Tylenol and ibuprofen. Oh good. So I'm just gonna scan your bracelet. And these meds are ready for you to take. Oh perfect. In they go. Awesome. And now I can hit accept on my medication administration. I'm going to check your blood sugar if you don't mind just before breakfast, okay? Okay. Alright, so I'll enter my employee number. I'll scan the patient. Scan the strip lots. And I'll just need to see your finger here, okay? Here you Do you go. have a preference? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh. Okay. So your blood sugar is 8.5, so that's perfect. Excellent. All right. Now I'm just going to do your vital signs quickly if you don't mind. Okay. that on your finger. And I'll just scan your bracelet quickly. So I noticed your oxygen is a little bit low. It's about 88%. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to bring your head up a little bit so it's easier for you to breathe. And I'm going to turn your oxygen up. You're sitting at three liters right now. I'm just going to turn it up to four and see if that might help. Okay. The other thing I wanted to mention is the doctors have suggested we do something that's called self-proning. Um, basically what that is, is it's a, it's a way of lying down so that you have better lung expansion. It helps your lungs get better. Um, so it's got to do with spending a lot of time lying on your back. Um, what we're hoping to uh, do is have you lie on your stomach and sides to help the air go through all areas of your lungs. So try and change your position every 30 minutes to 2 hours and even sitting up is better than lying on your back. So I've got some instructions here of ways to lie. 30 minutes to 2 hours on your belly. 30 minutes to 2 hours lying on your right side, 30 minutes to 2 hours sitting up, and then 30 minutes to 2 hours sitting on your left side, and then you can go back to your original position. I know that's a lot of information. I'm going to leave the sheet here, and I can help you through it, and if you have any questions, of course, let me know. So it looks like your oxygen is coming up. You're now up to 90%, so that's good. Um, how is your pain doing right now? It's okay. 
And do you feel like you have to go to the bathroom? No, not right now. Okay, and is there anything that you want me to bring closer to you? Anything you can't reach? No, I think everything's within my reach. Thank you. No problem. And I can see you've got your call bell over here on your left side. Um, I will be back in to check on you in the next hour and do let me know if you need anything, okay? Okay, thank you. Mrs. Smith, your oxygen's at 92%, so we're still good on the lowered oxygen. I'll come in and check on you shortly, but let me know if you need anything, okay? Oh, that's good. I'm feeling better. Thank you. All right, thank you. Again, can I get Clorox wipes? Thank you. And I'm going to clean my uh, rover and my glucoscan, and I'll pass those to you, okay? Perfect. doffing our PPE. So I'm going to start off by taking off my gloves. Perform optional hand hygiene. Undo my gown in the back, and then around the neck. Keeping hold of the strings and pulling it away, and turning it inside out. I'll perform my hand hygiene again. And remove my visor by reaching my arms up behind my head, leaning myself forward and pulling the band over and away from me into the garbage. And perform a final round of hand hygiene keeping my procedure mask on to help conserve PPE.